everyone and welcome to an episode of the 90 second novel the quick down though second novel is where i read your book early for once ah. and it's so early that i can't do a full review on my blog so i go here and do a 90 second review that tells you just really quick what i thought of the book and today 90 second novel is back with what to say next on julie buck's mom which actually has a different cover it's very similar to this but it kind of has this blue green background now um, Julie Buxbaum, you might know her from, she has some adult books, I believe, and then her YA debut was Tell Me Three Things. So what to say next is about Kit and David. Um, Kit is back to school and trying to get on with life three days after her father died in an accident and trying to deal with all the grief and everything that has stemmed from that. And David is kind of a loner in a sense at school. He is different. Everybody thinks he's weird. And David has, it's kind of hinted at, um, like the autism spectrum or Asperger's. If I mess up anything for that, I am so sorry. I'm not familiar with how all that works and proper terminology and everything. So just a heads up for that. But one day, Kit sits next to David, who he just sits all by himself. And from there, something else ensues, especially when he says all the right things and everybody says all the wrong things. And so... What to Say Next is out July 11th from Delacorte Press, and I'm going to tell you what I thought all about it. Just let me set my timer. Are you ready? Okay, so, What to Say Next, it's, it's difficult because I don't love the book as a whole. I liked it. I thought some things felt um, a little kind of quick and weren't fully developed or brought out, you know, like brought out. The ending was kind of, some stuff that happened, I was kind of like, huh? Like, I wasn't expecting that. It's definitely about what to say next. It's what to say next for Kit, who is still grieving her father while the world moves on and she's still stuck in whatever she's stuck in. And then David, who never really knows what to say next because he doesn't quite work the same way as other people. And being, so it's dual, dual point of view. So it could be in both people, both their minds. And David is just, he's fascinating. And he has this journal so he keeps track of who's who and what's going on. And his sister tells him what to say and what not to say. Like, I mean, here you can't, say that to somebody but you can say this so it was kind of iffy the story I I liked it but the thing about this book is there's one fantastic part and that's David like I do not say this lightly I don't say this like ever but it's probably one of my most favorite characters now in the history of all time like David is just like if you hurt David I will hurt you he's just too precious for everything and I think it's the second book I read with somebody with autism spectrum or Asperger's as the point of view and there's something very fascinating about David and like there's something so tender and sweet and your heart breaks for him and everything and he's just he's fantastic so this book is really it's David 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 and nothing else matters it's David <coughs> so that is somewhat what I thought of what to say next like I said you can get it um July 11th from Delacorte Press and I'm also going to be doing, of course, a review later on on the blog. And I'm going to be doing a bookstagram thing where I am, so my blog, Beauty in the Bookshelf, and bookstagram, Beauty in the Bookshelf. And I think it's worth checking out, especially because of what it teaches you about Asperger's and autism spectrum, even if you don't know much about it and aren't quite sure how to recognize it, you can tell it's something. It's, I think it's a, it teaches something, but it also really helps you. I never get sympathy and empathy right, but you really feel for David. And like, he's just the greatest character ever. Like, the book could just be from David's point of view, and I'd be totally okay with that. Like, I need all the David. But I'm basically continuing my review, and I'm not supposed to do that. 90 seconds only. Anyway, what to say next. Maybe what you read next. In July. Until next time, I'm Rachel Beauty in the Bookshelf, and I will see you later.